Hi Sagittarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 25th, 2017. I want you to invite you to the channel's homepage and check out the playlist so you can find your daily videos as well. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com or you'll find a link to those psychic readings directly below this video. Uh, it doesn't look like a bad week for Sagittarius, but it looks like you're going to go through some things this week, okay? Um, it's rethinking your options. You're a little bit delusional. Uh, you need a new path. You're not sure how to get to that new path. A little bit of lack of motivation on your part. Ultimately, though, hang on because it does look like you're going to reach your goals. It does look like there's new opportunities coming in as well as total victory, but I cannot say someone's not going to spike your temper to get that motivation going. So let's take a look. This is for Sagittarius for the week of September 25th, 2017. Sagittarius, we start with the Three of Wands, followed by the Three of Cups. Major Arcana of the Death Card. Major Arcana of the Moon, Ace of Cups, there it is, the Tower. So let's break this down for you guys. First of all, like I said, you're pretty happy, you're in a good spot, you're reflecting upon the past, but don't get stuck there, okay? You've got to push forward. Beside that, we see some type of celebration, some type of outing, group of people, good times. Then we have the Death Card, and like I said, this is the end of that negative cycle, this is the end of an emotional cycle, uh, it's the death of a situation, but you're putting the cap on this. You're the one that's saying enough is enough. Time for new beginnings. You are under new beginnings this current week. Now, moving forward, I spoke in the beginning that someone may upset the apple cart that gets your motivation back. What I'm looking at here, this is deception. This is someone close to you, okay? And that is a direct confrontation or a quickness of the temper. Good news is it does appear to be brief in passing. Will actually motivate you and move you on to something new. But ultimately what I'm looking at here, new beginnings. And the new beginnings is falling in the area of the love life. So end of negative situations, new beginnings and love this week. Um, now let me th throw this out there. Singles, this is going to be an important week for you. For those that are in relationships, if things have been rocky, if the communication has been rocky, you know, things are going to improve greatly for you guys this week. Moving forward, we have the Magician. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Seven of Cups. Now, Magician, this is the highest card in the deck, guys. This is your yes answer. This is you getting what you want. Take a look. Everything you want, everything you need is provided for and presented on the table. But following the tower is probably one of those cases that you're really going to feel you're not going to get what you want before you actually do. The high priestess indicates a little bit of a delay, a little bit of a standstill. You're weighing your options. You're balancing out. Like I said, it's going to be an emotional week. But look at this guy. I love this combination. That seven of cups shows daydreaming, meditation, pay attention to your dreams, this is what brings the best out of you in regards to your brainstorming. And your brainstorming is what brings in success this week. So, what all we got going on this week? Be warned of deceptions. There is a confrontation. Um, you're under new beginnings. Remember, death of a situation. Followed by the magician and you getting what you want only after you think you won't. Uh, a little bit delays in future plans, new beginnings in the love life. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.